Today we are going to discuss the structure of carbonyl group. So let's read from the book. The carbonyl carbon atom is sp2 hybridized and it forms three sigma bonds. The fourth valence electron of carbon remain in its p orbital and form pi bond with oxygen by overlap of p orbital of an oxygen. In addition, the oxygen atom has also two non-bonding electron pairs. Thus, the carbonyl carbon and the three atoms attached to it lie in the same plane and the pi electron cloud is above and below this plane. The bond angle is approximately 120 degree as expected for trigonal coplanar structure. So let's try to understand it. So here, this is carbonyl carbon, carbon in which it is double bonded to oxygen and there are two other valencies. Now identify the sigma and pi bonds. So here, this is sigma bond, this is also sigma bond and here in double bond, one bond is sigma while the other bond is pi bond. This carbon has formed three sigma bond and one pi bond. For the formation of three sigma bond, it utilizes hybridized orbital. Hybridized orbitals. So for the formation of three hybridized orbital, carbon utilizes one of S and two of P. So does it get sp2 hybridized orbital for the formation of 3 sigma bond? So the hybridization of carbon is sp2. For sp2, the geometry is trigonal planar geometry. For trigonal planar geometry, so here this is the carbon and you can draw trigonal planar structure. For this, the bond angle will be 120 degree. So, one of the sigma bond is formed with the oxygen. And the other pi bond is formed by the unhybridized p orbital. Pi bond is formed by unhybridized pz orbital. So this is, if we draw, this is pz orbital of carbon and this is pz orbital of oxygen. So by the sidewise overlapping, pi bond is formed. So as the pi bond is formed by the sidewise overlapping. So here you can see in the diagram figure 8.1. The carbon, oxygen and these two bonds, they are present in the same plane while these are the P orbital which are parallel to each other. So by the sidewise overlapping they form pi bond. Here you can see above and below there is pi electron cloud. So that's why in the book it is written carbonyl carbon and the three atoms attached to it lie in the same plane and the pi electron cloud is above and below this plane. The carbon-oxygen double bond is polarized due to higher electronegativity of oxygen relative to carbon. Hence, the carbonyl carbon is an electrophilic Lewis acid and carbonyl oxygen is nucleophilic Lewis base center. Carbonyl compounds have substantial dipole moment and are polar than ether. The high polarity of carbonyl group is explained on the basis of resonance involving a neutral A structure and dipole B structure. So let's try to understand it. Here this is carbonyl carbon and these are the two sigma bonds. Here oxygen is more electronegative than carbon. There is electronegativity difference between carbon and oxygen. So that's why you can draw the dipole moment towards oxygen. As there is shift in electron density, oxygen will develop delta negative charge and carbon will develop delta positive charge. So you can draw the another structure which is the resonating structure. So you can draw the another structure after the shifting of pi bond. So here this is oxygen. As it developed negative charge by the shifting of electron, oxygen will become negative and carbon will become positive. As carbonyl oxygen carries negative charge, so it can act as a nucleophile 
and carbonyl carbon carries positive charge so it will act as an electrophile so that's why it is written here carbonyl carbon is an electrophilic means lewis acid while carbonyl oxygen are nucleophilic means lewis base center carbonyl compound have substantial dipole moment as we have seen here there is a dipole moment because of this polarity in the molecule it is more polar than the ether and this polarity you can explain by these two structures now let's try to solve these questions write the structure of the following compound so let's try to solve first question alpha methoxy propane aldehyde so let's try to draw the structure of alpha methoxy propane aldehyde here you can understand what is the parent so here parent is propane and functional group is aldehyde so first of all draw the skeletal structure so here 1 2 3 so here at this position aldehyde group will be there and alpha methoxy means at alpha position methoxy group is bonded here the functional group is aldehyde and the carbon to which functional group is bonded is known as alpha carbon and here methoxy group is bonded at alpha carbon so here methoxy group o ch3 is there now balance the hydrogens so here ch3 here h so this is the structure of alpha methoxy propane aldehyde now come to the second question 3 hydroxy butane null so here the parent is butane so let's draw the skeletal structure first 1 2 3 and 4 so butane null means aldehyde group is at the first carbon and 3 hydroxy hydroxy is the prefix used for alcohol so this will be the first carbon this is second and this is third carbon so at third carbon hydroxy group is there so you can draw hydroxy group means oh is bonded to third carbon now balance the hydrogens so here ch3 here h here h2 and this is coh so this is the structure of 3 hydroxy butane null now come to the third question 3 hydroxy cyclopentane carbaldehyde carbaldehyde is used for the aldehyde group which is bonded to cyclic alkane so the parent is pentane so let's draw the structure of pentane cyclopentane so this is cyclopentane and aldehyde functional group is bonded to cyclopentane so i can draw here c double bond o h this is aldehyde functional group at second position hydroxy is there hydroxy is the prefix used for alcohol so this is the first carbon to which aldehyde group is bonded and this is the second carbon so here oh is bonded so this is the 2 hydroxy cyclopentane carb aldehyde now come to the fourth structure so here 4 oxo pentane null is given so parent is pentane so let's draw the skeletal structure first so this is first carbon second third fourth and this is fifth carbon and pentane null means aldehyde functional group is there so here you can draw aldehyde functional group oxo is the prefix used for ketone at fourth position oxo is there so here i can number the chain from aldehyde 1 this is 2 3 and this is fourth carbon now balance the hydrogens so here ch3 ch2 ch2 and c o h so this is the four oxo pentanal now come to the fifth question di secondary butyl ketone so secondary butyl so here you have to draw secondary butyl means 3 and this is fourth carbon this is the secondary butyl because this carbon is the secondary carbon 
as it is bonded to two other carbons. It is bonded to carbonyl carbon. So here, this is C double bond O ketone. And on the other side also, secondary butyl group is there. So this is the structure of secondary butyl. Now balance the hydrogens. So here, CH3, CH2, CH, CH3, CH, CH3, CH2, and here, CH3. So this is the structure of disecondary butyl ketone. Now come to the sixth question. 4-fluoroacetophenone. Acetophenone means this is benzene. And C double bond O. CH3 is there. So this is the structure of acetophenone. And here at fourth position, fluoro group is bonded. So here I can number from here. This is first carbon, second, third and this is fourth carbon. So at fourth position, fluoro is bonded. So here, fluorine is bonded to fourth position. So this is the structure of 4-fluoroacetophenone.